Well, so much for that. And calls to increase the list of goods that are exempted from tax have emerged again, this time from players in the energy sector who are calling on the government to exempt solar products for the, from the value-added tax. They argue that 30 million Kenyans live off the grid, hence exempting these solar products would make the products more affordable. Less than 20% of Kenya rural homes are connected to the national grid and are therefore forced to use such fuels such as kerosene for lighting. These Kenyans without access to electricity lose close to 10 to 20% of their income through fire-related accidents. This therefore underscores the need for an alternative source of lighting. It is here that entrepreneurs such as Barefoot, Delight and Sunny Money are seeking business as well as serving this market by offering solar-powered products. This one product costs around 900 shillings, about 10 US dollars, and it reduces the cost of living for someone in the rural area by 10 to 20 percent. Sunny Money says it's seeking to eradicate kerosene use in Africa within the next six years by selling solar power lights. In Kenya, it targets to sell at least 270,000 lights annually. The introduction of VAT, however, on solar products from September last year has adversely affected the price and demand for these products. We urge the Kenyan government to make an exemption on these products and, uh, and remove the VAT to free, to free this market. The company urges on investors to put their funds in the solar energy so as to increase the number of products in the market as well as competition that will see the price of products reduce. Regina Manyara Gitao, Business Defined.